I mean, I, I practice those shots, shots a lot, so um, I wasn't nervous really about the distance. I knew there was about five seconds left on the shot clock, and I, I thought the shot was open, so I took it, um, and it ended up being a good shot. That we have a chance to win. Um, you know, I, I think before the game and the week leading up to it, watching the other games, um, I mean, we knew they're, they're the best the best team in the world, the best players in the world. Um, so we were just going to try and stay within 20. Um, and then as, as the game started and uh, even before the game, we were like, hey, let's just give it our, our best shot and, and see where we are. Let's not worry about the score. Let's not worry about winning or losing. Let's just play, uh, you know, duck basketball. And as the game continued to go on, <coughs> We, we, we kind of forgot about who they were and, and what the expectations were of, of them beating us, and we were just trying to play our game and play it to perfection. And I think a lot of people stepped up big tonight, including our freshmen and, and our returners and even uh, Mignon Moore. Yeah, we really just focused on boxing them out. We know they're big, strong girls, so putting a body on someone, even if say I don't get the rebound, having Satu and Sab coming in and crashing is definitely going to help us. And I mean, the pick and roll has been working So we got here together. So I mean, it's just fun to be able to see it continue to work, us continue to go together in the pick and roll. I mean, we came into the game thinking, yeah, we, we have a shot at this. We know we're good, but obviously we're staying humble about it and we know we're not just going to come out there and beat them by 20. But I think every team has to, no matter who you are, go into a game very confident. And, <coughs> like, don't think anything crazy. But, I mean, and then as the game proceeded, we just kind of balled really well. And then the shots were falling. And, yeah, and then throughout the game, we were like, oh, we can really win this game. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Diana told us to stay mad, and that was what we said before the game at halftime. Um, we didn't want to come out complacent. We didn't want to come out um, excited that we were only down four at half, and so we came down and, um, in, in that third quarter, and, and we came out hard, and, and we stayed mad just like she had told us. So thank you to her for, for helping us <laughs> <laughs> with that win. Um, I, I didn't think I did a, enough in that first half o offensively. Uh, I think I was a little bit tentative. And so um, I got two, two quick ones at the end of that second quarter and, and kind of saw the, the game change and the floor, the floor open up and the game kind of slow down for me and my teammates. And so uh, at halftime, you know, everyone told me to keep shooting it and, and be confident and get in the paint. And so in that third quarter, I just continued to try and attack the rim. And if they weren't going to stop me, I was going to get to the rim. And, that. and my teammates took three shots and put me in a position to score. Oh no, I get reminded every day that what I can do and what I can't do. So I can hear him yelling at me even if he isn't and I'm just staying in my lane. That's what I do. Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of positives that we are going to take from this game, but there's also a lot of, a lot of negatives that we need to improve on and, and work on because, I mean, any team that's going to watch that, that game is going to be able to try and pick us apart and, and do what they did. So we're going to have to continue to, to learn on the defensive end, take care of the ball on the offensive end, and continuing to get better e each and every game. No, not not at all. I mean, maybe people think uh, you know there there's targets on our back, but I don't think we played like it. I don't think we we even think about it. We're just trying to be the best that we can every day on and off the floor. And as long as we believe that, and, and everyone uh, on the team believes that, I don't think there'll be a problem. Um. I mean, then I wasn't really like thinking about anything. I was just thinking about making those two shots and um, yeah, just staying focused. I'm 
always like in the zone and everything just flies by but as soon as the game stopped we were like oh my god what just happened <laughs> like and we were asking ourselves and just celebrating I mean, I think it's you can't really put uh, a word on how valuable that was for all of us, for our coaching staff, and for everyone to see how excellence, how excellence is. And, and being on the same court as some of those players, I've never dreamed about or imagined. I mean, all of us grew up watching them on TV, watching them uh, compete at the highest level and do it day in and day out. And some of those players have been playing for years, have won gold medals in the Olympics. And so just being able to touch the same ball that they do is, is a blessing for me and I know for my team as well.